So let's now look at our question on the break-even after going through the concepts and it's due up. A for six months says we should prepare or we should calculate the break-even point in units and in value. B says we should calculate the units for the targeted profit. C says we should calculate the margin of safety. So let's go through the question and see what's happening. Remember, when you're doing break-even analysis, you are using the marginal costing approach. Which simply means you will be interested in contribution. And contribution is your selling price minus variable cost. So that's the concept we'll be establishing here. So GWAP Limited manufactures bottled fruit juice, Habiba. So the drink is Habiba. That's the name of the person I know, bro. No. Uh, during the first year of operation, for the fiscal year 31st December 2018, the company produced 20,000 bottles of Adiba. Okay, so units produced. That's 20,000 bottles of Habiba. But was able to sell 17,000 bottles for 30 Ghana cities per bottle. Okay, we produced 20,000, but sales unit was 17,000 units. Our selling price has been given as 30 Ghana cities. It's very important to get these items down for what the examiner wants us to do. Then it goes on to say that the cost of raw material per bottle for manufacturing of Habiba is 5 cities. Okay, so direct material cost is 5 Ghana cities, and that is per bottle. Then, and it costs the company 5 Ghana cities per bottle on direct wages, so direct labor cost, also 5 Ghana cities. Then it says, also, GWAP incurred variable manufacturing overhead cost per bottle of 2 Ghana cities. Okay, variable manu overhead, 2 Ghana. Then we are also told that variable selling expenses is 3 Ghana cities. Variable selling expenses, 3 Ghana cities. Okay. The total annual fixed cost incurred during operations were 160,000 on manufacturing overheads and 60,000 on selling and administration overheads. Okay, so fixed costs have been given us on manufacturing, we are incurring 160,000, and then on selling and admin, we are incurring 80,000. That gives us a total of to 40,000 for the fiscal. All right, so these are the items in the question. So from this item, for 25 marks, the examiner is asking us the questions you see below there. So let's take them and answer the question for the examiner. A, he says, how many units should GWAB Limited, how many units of Habiba should GWAB Limited produce in order to break even? And what is the sales revenue on that? So that is going to be break even points in units, and that's going to be your first cost over contribution per unit. Now we have a first cost to be 240,000, no problem, but we need to get a contribution per unit. So let's go back to the question. I told you that. And you know that contribution is selling price minus what? Variable cost. Remember that the variable cost here includes both production variable cost and then non-production variable cost. So let's go back to the question. Direct material is a variable cost. Direct labor is a variable cost. Variable manufacturing overhead is a variable cost. Variable selling expenses is a variable cost. So we add all these to give us the variable cost per unit. And that gives us what? Fifteen Ghana cities. So once we have all the variable cost to be fifteen Ghana cities, we can say that contribution per unit equals the selling price minus variable cost, and that is going to be 
15 Ghana cities. So that's 15 Ghana cities for the contribution per unit. Once we have this, we can now calculate the break even point in units, and that's going to be our first cost here to 40,000 divided by 15 Ghana cities. What do we have? 240,000 divided by 15. 16, so 16,000 units. So Jihad Limited would have to produce 16,000 units of Habiba in order to break even. Then the value. So break even point in value. That is your face cost divided by contribution per unit times your selling price. So I could just pick this 16,000 units. And what is our selling price? 30 Ghana cities. So 16,000 by 30, what do we have? 480,000. 480, so that is the break-even value for the question. So that is the I aspect of the question for six months. Simple, sweet, straight to the point. <laughs> so that is it about that. Now let's go to the B. So I leave you to write. B says, assuming Jewel Lim sorry, assuming Jewel Limited was expecting a prof a before tax profit of sixty thousand, how many bottles of Habiba should have been sold? Okay. So that is sales units for targeted profits. And that is going to be your first cost plus target profit divided by contribution per unit. So, um, the sales units mm -hmm. Yes. What is it for? This one. That will be used in the D aspect of the question, when we are preparing the income statements. But in another break even, that would not be our cry for now. So our first cost is how much? 240,000. Then our targeted profit. What target profit did they want to make? Is it 60,000 from the question? And our contribution per unit is? Fifteen dollars. So what do we have for the sales units? Where did you get the sixty thousand? Sixty thousand is in the question. The B aspect. That is the profits they are expecting to make. The B of the question. So let's check out and see the sales unit for target profit. Twenty thousand. Okay. So we need to sell 20,000 units of Adiba for the company to make a profit of what? 60,000 Ghana cities. That is the meaning of what we have here. Then the last one is C. That is the MOS, margin of safety. Now remember I told you that margin of safety is both in units and in value. So let's do the units first. And that's going to be maximum units or units produced minus the break even point in units. So the units produced in this question is 20,000 minus the break even point in units is 16,000. And so that will give us 4,000 units. So that is the break even point in units. If we want a break even point in value, sorry, margin of safety in value, we will get the sales for the maximum profit, which is 
Now, what will be the sales for the maximum profit? So that will be maximum revenue. Minus break-even point in, in value. How do we get maximum revenue? We get maximum revenue by multiplying the 20 by what? The sales unit. That's how we get the maximum revenue. Remember, in the units, we took the maximum units or the units produced, 20,000, and deducted what? The break-even point in units. If you want it in value, you get the sales revenue for the units produced and subtract the break-even point in what? Value. So to get a maximum unit, that's going to be 30 times 20,000. And that will give us the 600,000. Six hundred thousand, and then the break-even point in value four eighty thousand. So what do we have? One twenty thousand. So that is the A, B, and C. Twelve marks. That's it. Twelve marks. Let me take you back. Mm -hmm. The single series. Yeah. Is the, is the total total production? No, no, this is sales unit for target profit. How many units must we sell in order to make a target profit of 60,000? I get in it. That's it. So the following is first cost plus target profit over contribution per unit. 